Shortly after buying his first horse, Ron Simonai became a sales representative for the Tandy Corporation, which began as a leather goods company prior to buying out Radio Shack in the 60s. Opportunities to grow within the Texas-based company were available to Simonai, who enjoyed the work. However, Ron refused to leave Williamsport because he wanted to raise his family here. He spent five years flying in and out of Williamsport every Sunday and coming back Friday night. A friend told him he needed to be in business for himself instead of being on the road so much, working so diligently for someone else. After his first business venture, Ron went with his first love for leather. He and a friend started out with belts. This was the beginning of the Tory Leather Company and our 2015 Phillips Blankenhorn Small Business of the Year recipient. Ron's first business owning venture was when he bought Dr. Davies Products Company. It manufactured rat poisoning. But his first love was for leather, and he started a belt making business with a friend that he worked with at Tandy. Neither of them had any money. His partner would manufacture 500 belts at a time and then send them up to Ron, and he would hurry up and go out on the road, sell the belts, and send him the money. While this was going on, Sim and I had people asking about horse equipment. He decided to hire some Amish people in Clearfield to build strap goods for horse equipment. He realized that the Amish were craftsmen and used to doing their own work. Sim and I kept building items that he thought would sell. The business evolved as time went on. Today, Sim and I is the sole owner of the business. I think when you first meet Ron, he comes off as perhaps a little serious and hard to understand. With time, you really get a sense of his inner passion for his business, but also for his community. Today, more than 90% of the business has to do with the manufacturing of horse equipment. Some of those items include competition horse reins, training equipment, and horse bridles. Their quality-made products are manufactured domestically, including English bridles which are made in the United States, while the majority of quality-made English bridles are made in Europe and India. They also sell belts and dog collars out of their English bridles. The product line that they have has come about by their dealer network asking them, can you make this? Can you make that? Dealers who use the products may be found globally. They have about 1,000 dealers in the United States and probably about 200 accounts out of the United States. In fact, other countries demand the quality American-made products. One of their main deals right now is exporting their belt line to Japan. Beyond being a leader in the production of high-quality leather products for the equine industry, Tory Leather is a leader in giving back to the community. Well, as a member of the community, Ron Semini is a, is a great guy, he's a great example. You'd like to clone a person like Ron Semini. Their employees can be found to be involved in a host of different community organizations, including local little leagues and soccer programs, riding clubs, and service organizations, such as the Rotary Club. I've been with Tory Leather now for 36 years, and throughout that entire time, Tory has always been very generous in donating product to any of the requests that come in from all over the country. We've always been very willing to be an active part of that. Any organization in the community doing an auction or raffle usually has a donated Tory Leather purse as part of their items. This community involvement is exemplified by Ron. Working for Ron at Tory Leather, Ron's involvement in the community bleeds over and that's something that I take great pride in being a part of as well, even in some small aspect and I know everybody there does. If he's involved with it, it's usually for the good of the community. He gives of his own time to organizations such as the Williamsport and River Valley Regional YMCA, First Community Foundation Partnership of Pennsylvania, and the Williamsport Rotary Club. Ron and Rosie are what I would call quiet philanthropists. You know what they believe in and what they have um, felt passionate about funding, um, but they have done it in a way that perhaps not everyone in the community realizes just how much they have supported different organizations. I think Ron is passionate about the causes that he chooses to get involved with. I think he's dedicated to those, and I think he's just a great guy. When he helped us out with our capital campaign, you know, we probably started out with a good 30 to 50 volunteers, and it's a grind. And at the end, there was Ron, 
maybe four or five other people and myself doing the capital campaign, which is normal for YMCA. But it really showed the kind of person that Ron is. I mean, he's the type of person that's going to commit to something, stick to it, and see it out to the very end. Ron and his wife Rosie were the top contributors to the development of the new Williamsport YMCA that opened in December of 2014. A desire to raise his family in the Williamsport community is what drove Ron Simini to keep his roots here. The drive to begin his own business to maintain their home here was the impetus for him to start his own business. Today, Tory Leather has grown into an international company that still maintains its strong roots to the local community and is why they are the recipient of the Williamsport Lycoming Chamber of Commerce 2015 Phillips Plankenhorn Small Business of the Year Award.